for me, this idea of compromise is I don't want to do this, but I'll do it mm, yeah. for you because I love you. No, 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 no. That is not love. That is fear. And what will happen? It will then become a transaction. I'll start to, my mind will begin to tally up. But do you know, I gave up this for you and I compromised here and I compromised there and I compromised there. And then I'll say, well, how much are you compromising? I feel like I'm doing all the compromising in the relationship and you're just doing what you want to do. And it levels it as a transaction. And where there is, a, where there is transaction, there is no love. And where there is love, there is no transaction. So it's less like, you know, if you were saying to me, hey, Ali, I, I really don't like it when you wear trainers rather than, you know, I prefer you to wear smart shoes. At that point, a compromise would be for me to be, be like, all right, well, I guess... I guess I should wear smart, smarter shoes because that's what that's what you want. But a choice would be, okay, I understand the context. I'm coming from a, pl from a pl place of love. I understand the effect that my trainers have on your psyche. And I know that you're working on controlling that for yourself. But actually, I can choose to make the choice. That to me, wearing trainers is not something I'm particularly wedded to. It's not something that's like such a fundamental part of my being that it feels like it's, it feels like I'm compromising my true self. I'm making the choice to wear brogues rather than trainers. Is that the kind of mindset shift we're talking about? Love could also be, I understand that that hurts you, but I love these trainers and I feel comfortable in these trainers and it wouldn't, honestly, it doesn't feel right me changing the way I dress to, for you to feel happy. And this is actually me. And if, if my trainers, I love the example, if my trainers are creating that much pain and upset for you, then maybe we need to look at this because I actually don't think this is a change that I want to make. And it's not because I don't love you and it's not because I don't respect you. It's because it doesn't feel right to me to begin to change in that way. And then you see where it goes. The thing about this compromise I've seen so many times is that we have to be careful that we don't begin to start to make all these small little changes yep. for the other person because we're afraid it would create conflict. Because if you were truly living in line with your truth and this person ends up getting triggered and upset, we'll figure out really quite quickly whether or not this is working. Yeah. I had, you know, an example of, was well, countless, but one comes to mind where, we were looking and seeing how uh, one of my clients had changed over time during the relationship and the, the marriage had ended up in, in, uh, in adultery and, and collapsing. And what we identified is that, yes, but if I hadn't, if I had been true to myself, she would have got upset. Yeah. And thought, okay, and how often would that have happened? Every day, really every day, how many times, like literally 10, 15 times a day. So I'm like, so if you lived, if you had lived true to yourself from when you met her 10, 15 times a day, she would have got upset and angry. Yes. How long would that relationship have lasted for? <laughs> a week? Yeah. Two weeks? You're going to learn very, very quickly. It's not working out instead of what? Three years, five years, 10 years. And then you realize, actually, whenever I am truly myself, there is no acceptance and love and appreciation. Instead, there's just hurt and upset and conflict. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then click here for the full unedited episode. And if you like that, then do please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.